Hello tout le monde, c'est Ednora22, j'espère que vous allez bien. On se retrouve aujourd'hui pour Trumberbrook, un jeu développé par BTF GmbH et édité par Head Up Games. Installez-vous confortablement sur votre canapé, votre lit, votre chaise de bureau ou sur vos WC, peu importe, let's go Dans cette vidéo, sauf le succès en fin du deuxième chapitre, il n'y en aura pas d'autres à débloquer. Par contre, vous y trouverez votre deuxième journal à lire. C'est un chapitre assez court. Allez, c'est parti Hello Hello Next circumference, 39 centimeters. Heart rate, 66 steady. Generally neglected, yet overall stable condition. Vigilance decrement, patient somnolent. Reduced effect display. Skin pigmentation livid. Nutritional basic needs barely met. Muscular system recessive. Possible myopathy. Barrel shaped thorax. Strongly noticeable funnel chest. Raisin colored notes on both sides of the mid clavicular line in the fourth ICS. Marfan syndrome, arachnodactyly. Lower extremities atrophic. Enormous kyphosis. Extremities bilaterally impaired, reduced muscle tone, weak monosynaptic reflex, past finger nose coherence test line without anomalies, abdomen flexible, no hardening, overly vibrant bowel noises, brisk peristalsis, reduced breathing sound, right hand side, basal. Rattling sounds over both lungs. Split second heart tone. Severe nasal acromegaly. Carrot shaped midfacial neoplasm. Creamy nasal secretion. Mm. Tongue oh. drifting to the left. Oh. Dental state desolate. Mm. Pupils bilaterally oh. round and medium wide. Sluggish reaction to huh? light bilaterally. What? Hyper reflexia, mood agitated. Patient's condition unclear. Where am I? Patient has regained consciousness and appears responsive. Excuse me, please. Could you tell me where I am? Patient's orientation to person, space, time, and dimension remains unclear. <sighs> I have to ask you a couple of questions. How are you feeling? Ici, le choix du dialogue importera peu. Ouch. Who are you? My name is Hans. What are you doing here? I was just about to ask you the same question. Assuming you knew, where have you been born or assembled? Assembled? Have you ever had a déjà vu? Only that I don't even understand this question either. Have you ever had an out-of-body experience? You are going to have an out-of-body experience in a moment, pal. Interesting. Please remain prepared for further examinations. Are you even listening to me? I'm afraid we can't let you leave until we have verified your right to stay. It's for your own safety. Just knock the door loud and clearly when you feel able to undergo a few more experiments. I'll be there to pick you up. 
The patient's status remains unclear. Uh, I'm feeling a little dizzy. Dr. Remla, please behave. They took away all my cool gadgets and locked me up in this small room. I tried protesting, but to no avail. What have I gotten myself into? It definitely doesn't feel like a relaxing summer vacation so far. I'm feeling a light breeze of air. Maybe I can squeeze through. Why, of course. But where? I could use this to climb to the hatch. model of a kind of human. Hey, buddy. Dans un premier temps, interagissez avec les vannes de la douche, puis dans un second temps, vous pourrez interagir avec le tuyau de la douche. No water pressure. More clogged. A coin. It fell right out of the shower head and right into my inventory for some cosmic reason. The benefits of capitalism. special tool to unscrew those very small screws. Ici, retournez immédiatement dans votre chambre en repassant par la ventilation. Are you ready for further tests? Let me go. First, the tests. Fine then, I'm ready. That slumber morale smoothie sure made me dizzy. Pour le questionnaire, vous pouvez choisir n'importe quelle réponse. Now just get going already, if you say so. Let's start with a short evaluation of your associative capabilities, a sort of warm-up, if you will. We are going to show you a series of images and you will tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. First image. Robots. Or to be more precise, perhaps a mechanical exoskeleton. I knew it. Second image. You are aware that all of this is totally obsolete, right? If you say so. 
Now focus, please. Image number three. A beautiful butterfly. Have you ever been bitten by a butterfly? No, me either. Remarkable. And we're done. That's that. Mr. Tenhauser, there is no need to play games anymore. It's your decision to make. We both know you'll run out of excuses sooner or later. That's when we've got you. Then you'll have nowhere left to hide. We know who and what you are. Ultimately, it's up to you to take that first step into the right direction. Let's keep you here for the time being. Now we only need to get a few things set up. Then we'll pick you up once the proceedings are about to commence. Knock on the door when you feel ready. I think I'm sobering up again finally. What a trip. Vous trouverez au sol, à gauche, votre deuxième journal sur quatre. Should I need an improvised hat? right? My dad always used to say, son, whatever you do, stay away from fuse boxes. There's something written on the wall. Try with this code someone left on the wall. Interesting. These seem to be the medical records. There you are. You must be lost. I 
just needed to catch a breath of fresh air. No more lame excuses. We are going to perform the test now. That slumber morale smoothie sure made me dizzy. I can see clearly now. He's going to flick the switch on me if I make even the slightest move. Come on, let's get it over with. If you say so. Let's start with a short evaluation of your associative capabilities. A sort of warm up, if you will. We are going to show you a series of images and you will tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. First image. Pour les trois prochaines réponses, il est vraiment important de choisir la quatrième réponse. War. That is um, unexpected. Second image. Cruelty. Are you sure? Image number three. Unnecessary violence. Extraordinary. And we are done. Counting in the benefit of the doubt, I think you've just met the criteria to pass. Next up is self-assessment, ranging from one, very inaccurate, to four, very accurate. How would you rate the following statements? I often feel controlled by others. Dès à présent, vous pouvez choisir n'importe quoi comme réponse. Two. I enjoy carrying a lot of stuff with me. Four. I don't care much about art. Good question. I'd say a close one. I often get the impression that my life and the world around me is nothing but an illusion. It's a two. Yeah, kind of. Not really, though. Two is 50%, right? Thank you. Next, we are going to show you a few colors. Please describe them as elaborately as possible. Let's begin. So what do you see? Please describe this color as precisely as possible. Soothing. Like a quiet day spent fishing with Aunt Lottie. How do you feel about this color? Anything particular that meets the eye? Kitsch. Like happy little accidents. Calm, humble, and inspiring. Thank you. And what are your associations with this color? Fragile. Like a butterfly in a hurricane. Now actually, a butterfly isn't really all that fragile. Its wings do quite well under most weather conditions. Remarkable. If you had to put a name on this shape, what would it be? Rectangle. An idea shaping an orthogonal reality, from Pythagoras to Descartes, until probably the end of time. And this one? Triangle. Trinity. The whole idea of it. The three wide open seas. The three apostles. The three wonders of the world and... and all three of the important beetles. Thank you. That's that. Now a few questions where you have to make a decision. Would you rather have landed in Roswell or crashed on the moon? This seems to be a good opportunity to point out that I am not an alien. Would you rather be the only suit at Woodstock or the only hippie on Wall Street? What exactly is this Woodstock you're referring to? Would you rather be a lion without teeth or a gnu without legs? I could still have soups and stews as a lion, right? Would you rather want to have Heinz Erhardt's expertise in economics or Ludwig Erhardt's sense of humor? Can't I have Amelia Erhardt's courage instead? Would you rather be an eagle with a shell 
or a turtle with wings. Is this about calculating the aerodynamics of a turtle shell in relation to a given wingspan? Thank you. Think of your childhood. What are the first three items coming to your mind? Dad, Aunt Lottie, Hans and ice cream. Are you sometimes afraid of the day your true identity becomes uncovered? Well, yes. Aren't you? Do you sometimes feel that everything is just about to happen, while all of it has already been decided? Yes. Congratulations, my dear Mr. Tenhauser. You have passed the associative test with excellent results. I have no more doubts that you are a real human. A real hu- That's what this was all about? I apologize for the inconvenience, but one can never be sure these days. It's our civic duty to track down and detain these aliens. They are among us. Mark my words, Mr. Tenhauser. You are free to go. Please show yourself out. I'm a human being, of flesh and blood, and now I'm going home. Aliens, you must be out of your minds. I can hear the birds chirping outside. Ah, the sweet sound of freedom. I'll leave the key under the doormat. Sur ce, je vous laisse. N'hésitez pas à vous abonner à ma chaîne YouTube, à mettre un pouce vers le haut sur la vidéo ou à commenter. Je réponds très volontiers à vos questions. Rejoignez-moi sur Twitch. Je suis aussi sur Twitter si jamais. On se retrouve très bientôt pour la suite du jeu. D'ici là, portez-vous bien. À la prochaine. Ciao.